September 9th, put your best paw forward. Gather your family, co-workers, and four-legged friends for the 2017 Wiggle Waggle Walk and Run, presented by Escape Manor. Make a difference and help Ottawa's animals. Sign up now at ottawahumane.ca slash walkrun. It's going to be so much fun with us right now from the Ottawa Humane Society's Kelly Meinke. And Kelly, you brought a friend. Do you want to introduce your friend? Sure. This is Tyson. Hi, Tyson. Hi. Woo. He's uh, one of the dogs that are at our shelter right now. He's beautiful. just waiting to get adopted. Beautiful, beautiful dog. And uh, not to be outdone, you're also a beautiful man, Steve Wilson. <laughs> Uh, the <laughs> Vice President of Sales and Marketing and co-owner of Escape Manor. Hello. Good to see oh. you again. Likewise. This is going to be you. wonderful. Now, okay, so Kelly, tell us, Ottawa, Ottawa Humane Society, uh, rich history in, in our community. Uh, how many years at this point that has, has this been around? Like, We've been around since the 1800s, 1800s so a long, long time. Which is incredible. Uh, that's, and you guys have saved many animals, obviously, uh, throughout the years. This is a bit of a different take this year for the... Uh, I want to call it the Wiggle Waggle Walkathon, but we've got a different name. It's it's changed we up do. a bit. We do, yeah. So this year we're actually combining two events that we've had in the past. Okay. So we're combining the Wiggle Waggle Walkathon and the Run for Animals to the, be the new Wiggle Waggle Walk and Run presented by Escape Manor. That's Ooh. cool. Now, Steve, how come you came on board for this? Uh, well, our team um, from Escape Manor, we all are huge animal lovers, mm -hmm. and we also love fit and fun lifestyles and doing entertaining things. Yeah. And we also uh, try to get our ourselves involved with great charities and it was a natural fit to partner up with the OHS mm -hmm. and we did the the run for the animals last year which is the, the shirt I'm wearing now yeah and uh, and when they put the two together it was again we just definitely wanted to be the presenting partner for it and okay. it gives us a fun time to go out with our folks that uh, enjoy the escape rooms they get to come out with their animals or you don't even need an animal to come out and just come out and do the run mm -hmm. or do the walk and uh, it's just a fun event for us and we just have a lot of fun and fun raising money for it as well so we're not incorporating like uh, dogs cats trying to escape from a room or anything like we're this. working on it but yeah. uh, <laughs> not, not this year because <laughs> I guarantee you this fellow is probably a lot more smart than I am when it comes to these escape <laughs> rooms because they are they're a challenge sometimes yeah absolutely And how has the business been going for you fantastic we, yeah. we can't complain it's been a great summer there's so much on the go and just having great partnerships like the one we have with the OHS makes our life very diverse and fun it's not uh, mm -hmm. it's not routine in any stretch of the imagination and we're really looking forward to September 9th and just going out and having a great run. Okay. And Kelly, you, you have a new location this time? We do, yes. So we used to be at Queen Juliana Park, and we've actually moved to Lansdowne now. So the event is going to take place on the Great Lawn there, and mm. there's tons of things to do. We have, you know, a kid's fun zone with some bouncy castles, uh, balloon artists, face painters, that sort of thing. We have a canine fun zone mm -hmm. where we're going to be promoting a lot of our dog obedience programs. So it's really cool. It'll be all in one central location, which will be a different change for us. So we're excited. Uh, do you have a goal for the amount that you'd like to raise? I mean, it's because what you do obviously uh, takes takes funds. Absolutely. So we're hoping to raise about 155000 this year uh, through pledges alone. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really, really hoping that we get a lot more people to sign up. We're looking for around 1,000 participants. So we still have got a little ways to go. Okay. So mm -hmm. how can people get involved. So they can get involved in lots of different ways. So um, you can either choose <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> Tyson's just taking a little nap get a show here. Of this this, uh, he is. He's KO'd. He's had a long walk. Yeah, long walk. That's, um, that's me after uh, an episode of Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV. Just <laughs> tuck, tuckered out for sure. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got distracted by the dog. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, how can people get involved? So they can get involved in many ways. So you can get involved by going ahead and actually participating in the walk and run. So we have a 3K walk. Mm -hmm. We have a 1K furry fun run, so you can actually run with your pet. Uh, we have a 1K kids fun run, a 5K and a 10K. Uh, so you can go ahead and register for one of those, or you can go ahead and sign up as a team and, and raise some funds for us. Okay. Do you have a team for the Escape Manor? Do we ever? Yeah. yeah, we're actually the Hounds of the Manor. Hounds and, uh, of the Manor. Yeah, Lovely. so it's, it's folks we work with, it's folks that enjoy our escape rooms mm -hmm. and friends, and we invite everyone to come out. And we have a, a website for that. It's bit.ly forward slash hounds of the manor okay and that will bring you to our pledge page and we're trying to raise 10 grand yeah. uh, for the charity so you can either run with us or you can make a donation or you can share that uh, url with friends and that's what we're trying to do and then if you visit any of the escape manor locations 
uh, this month and the previous month, we have donation boxes and we give extra clues to our escape rooms to everyone that gives a, a little donation. Oh, a little bit OHS. of a bribe, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Give us some money and we'll let you out of this place. Exactly. Think, right? Animal lovers definitely have <laughs> an advantage. Are you going to be uh, running in the 10K, not to put you on the spot, but you look like you're in some great shape. I'm not condition. in great shape and I ran my first 5K ever last year yeah. and I, I almost died. And no, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun and we have some younger uh, team members that work with us and we run with them so yeah. being the older guys we have to keep up and they yeah. keep us on pace but it I'll do the 5k again this year and when you get to the end of the 5k I might continue yeah. try the 10 might. we'll see how I feel I think you can do it you got some time to train some yeah right. Up, right you got some time to train uh, Kelly are you looking for companies to get involved still yeah absolutely so the the best way for companies to get involved we do have a few sponsorship opportunities still available uh, so that's one way or go ahead and create a team and uh, raise some funds that way so there's a lot of different ways and also too we have a vendor pavilion there so we call it our pet pavilion mm -hmm. so companies can put the space in there and promote some of their products as well to some of our uh, participants and how are things going right now at the Ottawa Humane Society uh, obviously there's still a need there's lots of busy very busy right now um, we have a lot of kittens in the shelter especially a lot of stray cats have had big litters of kittens over the past uh, few months especially in the summertime so we're, we're almost at capacity so we definitely need lots of people to step forward and and become uh, you know new yeah. parents and for those who don't know where the Humane Society is located we're located at 245 West Hunt Club okay so it's kind of we're just tucked in behind the car dealerships there so you can't see us quite from the road but mm -hmm. if you just go behind we're right across from that Lowe's area yeah. there on Hunt Club come on in and find a forever friend is that right is that the term you're using exactly yeah yep. beautiful facility too <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's just gorgeous beautiful. well we're looking forward to this this is gonna be a lot of fun to wiggle wiggle walk and run uh, presented by Escape Manor. Steve, thank you for being here. Kelly thank as well. You. And thank us. you, Tyson. Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> I swear the dog did that, not me. Coming up, the House of Paint Festival is happening very soon. We have all the details you need on Rogers Television next.